Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a new recording from the National Symphony Orchestra of Washington, D.C., or the American National Symphony, not the English Pickup Recording Orchestra. Um, the National Symphony Orchestra, um, under the leadership of Jandrea Noceda, which is she's really good. Um, they're really good. George Walker's Symph Symphonias. There are five of them. They were composed between 1984 and 2016. And Walker had a very long life. He lived from 1922 to 2018. He was one of uh, America's most noteworthy African-American composers. He won a Pulitzer Prize. Um, he was a pianist. He was a teacher. He was a cranky old coot who accused me and Jed Disler of of racism because we didn't think everything he did was fabulous. He had attitude. That's okay. I mean, you know, people have attitude. Didn't stop us from talking about his stuff. And in fact, two of these, numbers one and three, were previously recorded by Ian Hobson and the Sinfonia of Varsovia, and I reviewed that disc on Albany. I didn't like them very much. I still don't like them very much. His music is resolutely modernist, angular, dissonant, very difficult to pigeonhole or to come up with any kind of of personal idiom. Um, it sounds angry and glum and kind of depressing, um, sometimes fun. I mean, it's energetic, it, it's rhythmic, it has, it has bite. And, you know, for some people that's enough, nor are any of these pieces terribly long. They range from three movements, basically, to like one movement pieces between 11 and 16 minutes each. Uh, you know they're not they they don't they don't torture you for long. Let's put it that way. Um, they do have some conventionally lovely moments. I mean, number number three here has a lovely slow movement or sort of quasi lovely slow movement. Number four um, is based on bits of melody from two uh, Negro spirituals. Although you really won't notice the bits of melody, it's kind of like you know Maxwell Davies, you know, putting. Gregorian chant in some of his symphonies. I mean, you know, it's like, who cares? You're not going to hear it. It doesn't make any difference. The last one, Visions, has some bits of poetry. Um, it's an angry piece. It's about slavery and, and oppression. And those texts are spoken by groups of, of soloists. Um, it can be performed without the text, which I think would be actually kind of better. Well, maybe not. It might be that those texts actually help us get a sense of of what Walker's trying to express in these pieces, because as I said, it's not obvious. And it's very interesting reading the notes here because he wrote commentary on each one of these things. It's absolutely, totally devoid of any kind of expressive indication of what the music's about. His own comments are, the opening theme does this, and then it comes back, and there's a contrasting theme, and then the theme from the beginning returns in, in, in revised scoring, and th th I mean, that's what he does. It's the, the briefest, most, most almost, almost um, contemptuous, <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to say, description of how the music sounds. Um, and what he's trying to do, which you know, to me makes his comments absolutely, totally useless and worthless. And so you have to figure it out for yourself. If you like grinding music, grinding like Honegger in a grinding mode or Roger Sessions before he went like completely 12 tone, like his earlier symphonies, like numbers two and three, that kind of stuff, then you know, then you know basically what you're, what you're, what you're in for. And it's it's difficult. It's difficult music, but it's I don't know. I, I didn't like that first disc because I thought that the Sinfonia of Varsovia was really unfamiliar with the music, and they seemed somewhat overparted, try as they might. The tempi were a little bit slow. This is much better. These performances are much better. First of all, the National Symphony Orchestra is a full size symphony orchestra, which is necessary because the orchestration is quite bony and kind of thin sometimes and scrappy sounding. But, you know, when you have a full string section going at it to counterbalance the brass and winds and percussion, um, it makes a much fuller impression, a more satisfying impression. I think Noseda uh, is, is more confident in his performances of the music. The sound is very, very good. This makes a much better impression on me um, than that earlier disc did. I'm still not a fan. Um, I'm not quite sure what Walker was getting at other than expressing anger and bitterness or suffering, because that's 
how you know music of the very very high level of dissonance usually comes across and he was not the kind of composer who was going to take a particular idiom and demonstrate how he could give us a full range of musical expression within the context of that idiom he just let it be and maybe that means he wasn't such a hot composer to begin with it's possible um you know you can't you can't uh, second guess a composer's intentions you can only base your impression on what it sounded like. So I understand that he was a significant voice in 20th century American music. I think it's good that his music is getting an outing in such excellent performances, nicely packaged and presented and all of those things. I really do. I just don't think it's great music. I, it has nothing to do with its difficulty. It has to do with what I consider to be you know, creating satisfying and cohesive formal structures and expressive structures within his chosen idiom. Um, so, well, that's me. You may feel differently. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.